we start with the, the test tubes in the lab. We take it all the way up to the large scale systems you see outside to, to this product here, which is uh, dewatered. And uh, then we also test it to see what are some of the other commercial products that we can uh, you know, try to recover 90 to 95 percent of what we're growing out here uh, so we can you know, make sure we're producing a sustainable crop, you know, the full circle of it. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely viable. For us, it's just really adapting specific strains or taking the, this algae that we buy or this algae that we find or something like that and getting it adapted to this, this area, you know, and making it work and do what we want it to do for here. It, it's just like growing, uh, growing corn in Illinois versus corn in North Texas. It's, it's adapting that system to make it work for here. And, and that's one of the biggest, and that, that's our main focus. And that is our big hurdle is taking a, a strain of algae that we know produces lots of oil and make it work for here. Um, or find one that grows naturally and then make it produce what we want it to produce all the time. Um, that is that is probably one of the largest hurdles that we've had to face. With the centrifuge behind me, we can do a lot of our dewatering straight out of the pond and uh, concentrate our algae, um, get it to around 10% uh, dry biomass. Um, there's still a lot of water left over, um, so we do have some other steps that we can take um, to further remove the water um, to 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 get a better oil extraction. Um, uh, we, we can centrifuge, we can use chemical flocculation. Uh, this is uh, algae that we've centrifuged and then uh, used chemical polymer extraction to remove uh, even more of the water fr uh, from the slurry. Uh, this allows us to get to that uh, optimal dryness that we need for uh, optimal oil extraction. Oil, oil, oil in reality is the byproduct. There, there's a ton of value with what I'm holding in, in the, the co-products arena for cattle feed, things of that nature, because there's a huge market for that out there. And that, all those things together make this a viable, affordable product for the, the biodiesel conversion. Uh, without any of that co-product value, this would, you know, this would not work. We need to have that, um, we need to have that availability to, to use a hundred percent or ninety percent of what I'm holding to make everything viable or affordable. The, the possibilities are endless. Um, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, cattle feed, um, oil, um, uh, lubricants, all sorts of things that can be used with what, with what we have here. Um, when, when we built the facility and we, we laid out the design for it, we really wanted to approach the construction of the facility uh, using agricultural methods and agricultural equipment because our main focus is to um, approach this as a crop crop system and um, we built a lot of the ponds with uh, implements that we have here at the research station, tractors, border discs, things of that nature and uh, we've lined our ponds with a uh, uh, Firestone uh, .045 mil EPDM liner um, and this is typical of a lot of uh, pond, uh, man-made pond systems that are put in today and in, 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 uh, all over the country um, but uh, this stuff has a really long shelf life, um, the UV resistance is optimal so we can get several years worth of use out of this before we have any types of issues and also we put it under a uh, uh, an underlayment which is just like a felt pad to help prevent any kind of punctures or things of that nature for when we walk on it and clean it because there's a lot of labor and a lot of uh, upkeep that has to go on with the ponds we the algae project is uh, on approximately five acres worth of, of land here um, with the potential to expand even more in the future um, there's a lot of other uh, oil seed and uh, industrial oil crops that there's some research going on here with. So uh, PECUS, the, the center has definitely taken a, a, a more substantial role in the, the oil and uh, co-products angle in, in the agricultural market.